Shalom. First and foremost, give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua by Hashem Rekakodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the word calls God, and His name in Hebrew means He exists. And Yahweh Shai's name is the only begotten Son, who the word only calls Jesus Christ, and His name in Hebrew means He delivers by Hashem in the name Rekakodash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great most known will. Peace and blessings unto the Shashiach and this push forward in the truth. That the four corners of the earth, I want to show on to your brothers to keep pushing. And a double show them all unto the Israelites that look like the other nations and the Shashiach with you. I want to show on to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dewar from GMS Line, St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at it with another video. I had just seen this um, picture on um, social media. And, you know, it kind of spoke a lot to me and how these other countries, because this was actually in a carnival in Italy. So, they, you know, they, they got the float. So they representing America. Right. So at the bottom that you can see is uh, Seattle, Una, follow in America. Right. So which is basically translated. Once upon a time, so in America, so once upon a time in America, so they got um, this person, which <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> they did a terrible job, like a woman, which really should have been a so-called black man, okay, <clears throat> but like in change in a uh, prison outfit and the quote-unquote Statue of Liberty, um, you know, a helmet on. So basically representing our captivity, okay? Because uh, I'm going to just say, like, yeah, even though you women are in captivity over here, but the main person that's in captivity over here is uh, the Israelite man, okay? So starting off with the so-called black man from the tribe of Judah on down, because we the ones really over here in captivity because the system is catered to you women, okay? Because you women can do whatever the hell you want to do and no consequences, Okay, but um, I just wanted to show that, and I'm gonna just pull some precepts a little bit to be edifying. So, um, <clears throat> Baruch four. I'm gonna start at one. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Right, and that's what happened over here, in which um. The whole nation of Israel, we discontinued from our heritage. Okay, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Okay, we discontinued from our heritage. And we just took on a whole new way of living. Because none of us grew up keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the scriptures. You know, because we was all taught that the law was done away with. And that's 100% false from, uh, from the truth, okay? That's so further from the truth that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense, right? But you got a lot of Israelites over here that believe that. Okay, and it's not true at all. Okay. So let's keep going. Verse 2. Turn ye, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Right. And that's what the nation of Israel did. Okay. And um Yahweh Shemi Asha is giving our people a, a chance. To walk into the light, but they still doing whatever. Okay, still committing adultery, still uh, committing sodomy, um, tattoos on their body, still eating unclean foods and worshiping these other gods. Okay, everything that the Lord told you not to do. That's what uh, you Jakes, well, not even just in America, all throughout the world. Okay, that's what uh, these Jakes are doing. All right, you even got Jace that is uh, uh, cannibals now, okay? Because, you know, we had that, was that video that uh, I think uh, Jake over there in Africa uh, dug up some dead bodies and cooked them and ate them, okay? And that's the shit that them Hamites be doing. They, they, they do that to, uh, like, to get power on the left-hand side. Like to eat your essence, you know, because them hammers practice uh, cannibalism. 
and uh, all you know, all type of idol worship and stuff like that. Okay, like sacrificing children, which Jake do that over here in America now. Okay. <clears throat> says verse 4 oh israel happy are we for the things that are pleasing unto yahweh are made known unto us be of good cheer my people the memorial of israel you were sold to the nations not for your destruction but because you move yahweh to wrath you were delivered unto the enemies right so this is why we're here so this is why um we're still in captivity and like and yeah like it's not hardcore bondage but uh still you know uh the sentence is not as bad as it used to be, like in our past lives where we was getting our backs beat and trying to run away from uh, the plantation and et cetera, et cetera. But, hey, we still here in captivity, okay? And um, we still need to be free from this captivity because we, we, we still shitting on in this uh, place. Verse seven, for you were for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to God. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Yeah, because the um hey, the land rejected us. Okay. And yeah, that's why we got sold over here into slavery, because we uh provoked the Lord to jealousy, but the Lord is um taking us back. Uh, you know, he accepting us back and, you know, we, um, you know, we going strong and the Lord is going to renew our whole nation. Okay. But I uh, only, only the elect, but you know, like you two thirds and Lord, and I'll be a part of the elect, you know, cause none of us know if we are part of the elect or not, but, um, you two thirds, you're going to have to die over here. On um, the first go around. So, yeah, you're going to taste that second death, which is uh, the famine, uh, the sword, and the icing on the cake, the lake of fire. Okay. Verse 9. For when she saw the wrath of Yahweh coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion. God had brought upon me great mourning. Well, I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. Right. So, um, and the land rejected us. That's why we got our asses over here on the western, in the western part of the world, in which, you know, it's a lot of Israelites that's still over there. Because, you know, you had a lot of false prophets that told our people to go over there, which uh, they, they should actually be kicked out now. Okay. Because uh, Esau, Edom, man, like, get y'all asses out of here, man. <laughs> Hey, because hey, we waiting on you. How about Shemiel Asha to uh, redeem us? You know, we not trying to take Esau plane over there and then uh, set up shop and then, you know, we got to work and pay bills. Nah, man. We going to come over there and what the word only calls so-called UFOs. Okay. It says, um, verse 11, with joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Right. Um, sent this away with um, weeping and mourning, you know, because hey, being in chains and slavery and walking barefoot and naked, he's crying. All right. Praying and, you know, going through all types of stuff. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsaken of many. Who for the sins of my children am left desolate, because they departed from the law of Yahweh. They knew not his statutes, nor walking the ways of his commandments, nor trod in the paths of discipline and righteousness. All right, yeah, that's what our people did. Okay. So yeah, you know, this is why this happened, because hey, the whole world, the uh the whole world seen a captivity. Okay, and, and even hey, hey, you freaking uh Spaniards. Okay, Christopher uh, Columbus, or Cologne, whatever you want to call him, he was a Spaniard, you know. And through research, hey, we found out he was a what? A, a Amicalite. All right? 
And that's where the uh, chief tribe of the nation of uh, Edom. So you know, hey, these devils, they're going to have to pay for what they did to our people. All right. Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath for fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of our delicacies. Right. And so what's that? So, yeah, that's the... Um, the great hoarder sitteth upon many waters. It's like it, which is um, which is America, okay? Like the whole uh, beast system, because you know America sits at the top. <clears throat> and I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of here, my people, that ye be not partakers of our sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven." And how I have remembered her iniquities, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she had filled filled to her double. Yep, and that's what's gonna happen to you, uh, well, to this place, and to you Edomites, because you know you, you Edomites just do too much. Y'all just extra. All right, so yeah, everything is about re you know re revenge and. Uh, Cause these Edomites, they knew what the hell that our forefathers did to them. You know, you had the one king that was throwing you Edomites. Um, and I think his name was Amaziah. You know, I just looked that up. You know, splattering you Edomites on rocks, but then he turned around and worship you our guys. Stupid. But uh, you know, King David, even under the hand of Saul. All right, uh, you uh, other nations getting jacked up. Okay. But I like the prophecy states, like, you know, uh, you break the yoke of iron off your necks. And then you got the dominion now. But, hey, you about to go right back into slavery. Okay, but this time, hey, we ain't going to never go off again. Okay, so we're going to be 100% uh, righteous. It says, for our sins have reached unto heaven, and how we have remembered her iniquities. Reward her, even if she rewarded you. And double unto her double according to her works in the cup, which she have filled, filled to her double. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her heart, I sit a queen and am the widow, and shall see no sorrow. Right? And that's what uh, these Americans think. They think that nothing is going to happen to them, like, like everything going going to happen in another country, you know, it, like, it's just so impossible for, um, for hell and famine and destruction to come over here, but nah, it, it, it's coming, it, it's going to be worse, it's going to be worse than Afghanistan, okay, um, uh, Desert Storm, it's going to be worse than 70 AD, it's, it's going to be worse than any type of uh, natural dis uh, disaster, right? Because that's what happened. A lot of natural disasters, you know. Because like even then, like this uh, snowstorm that's um, happening. Okay. Uh, hey, the Lord is bringing this. It says uh, verse eight. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges her. And the kings of the earth who had committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her. When they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar for the fear of her torment, saying, At last, at last, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is our judgment come right. So, yeah, one hour. Yeah. So, one hour, the judgment gonna come. One more verse. I know, I know I'm long winded, so I can bear with me. And the, and the merchants of the earth shall. Weep and mourn over her, but no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Yeah, and this place is never gonna be inhabited again. Okay, so it's gonna be like a big memorial. Okay, and uh, yeah, the Lord is revealing it. 
that uh, this place ain't right and that you Edomites are not right. And that's how the Lord says, shame shall cover you. And I'm in it off with this, Lord willing. So Obadiah, verse 10. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right, so you're going to be cut off forever. Okay. And uh, hey, all you nations had a hand in our downfall. And even that's at a, a, a play in a place in a carnival in uh, Italy, you know, and, and a lot of uh, those Sicilians and Southern Italians, you know, and even some of them moved up north too. A lot of them are Jakes. Okay. They, uh, history goes back to, they forefathers go back to, uh, Jake that was living in the land, the Moors. Okay, so yeah, the truth is out there, man. So call Allah, I'm not like, Yahweh, Bashmi, Ashab, Bashmi, Kakurash, Shalom, and the Baba Ball.